How are you guys? Today, Piot Netforms will instruct an advanced application for dynamizing custom fields. Imagine that you have a workshop post type that includes upcoming events. There are more than 1,000 events when finishing project. In these events, they have a standard contact form in order for participants to register. There are a couple of custom fields to populate input data. Each of the posts has different email address fields. Depending on specific events, the form will be sent to different target email addresses. Instead of creating manually multiple forms for posts, you just need to create only a standard form with custom fields. Piotnet Forms will show you how to manage it. In the beginning, create an email custom field, I'm using ACF in my case. Then create your own forms by clicking to add new. You are able to choose an available template or make a new blank form. I already had a simple contact form like this one. Now, we'll add one more field to get custom email field. It operates as a connection bridge in your form. It should be a hidden field type, but for easily demonstrate, I set it as a text field. I temporarily call this field is target email addresses and scroll down to default value. You'll see a dynamic tags icon, click on it to choose custom field format. Afterward, revise this format to your appropriate ACF field name. Then configure the email action of submit button. In the to box, click to dynamic tag to get that target email field. Let's save form and embed it to single post. You possibly embed this form shortcode anywhere. In this demonstration, I'll embed this shortcode to single post. Let's check it on preview. As you see, the target email field is automatically dynamized email address. Let's check another one. In final step, I'll revise the target email in form to be a hidden field, then it can not show on front end. This is just a simple case using ACF custom field, you can apply dynamic tag for default post, metabox, jet engine, pods, and toolset custom field. 